I look like I've been crying. Oh, oh that's my okay. Goodness. You're allowed to be crying. The life advice from a seven and a half year old. How is that even possible? It's awesome that I booked one more thing here, but I also have a callback in Dallas this weekend. A year on the road without knowing what's gonna happen. <sighs> Oh my god, awesome stuff is happening, but also kind of confusing. I finished my gig here, the 48 hour film festival, but now I just got an offer from a couple of people that I met there to be in their project. This is Nate, we met at the 48 hour film festival. He invited me to do something with him on his pilot. What's the name of the pilot? It's uh, Security. Security, okay. Of course I said yes, but that means I have to stay here for a couple more weeks. It's awesome that I booked one more thing here, but I also have a callback in Dallas this weekend. So I'm going to Dallas for the callback. I'm going just for a few days. I'm gonna stay with my friend and then I'm coming back to New Orleans. All right, I'm on my way to Dallas and this is ridiculous. This is Randy. We've been stuck in Houston for like, what, eight hours? It's been a lot of fun. And they still told us that there's another two hour delay. Did not sleep all night. Wish us luck. We're gonna need it because it's not over yet. They said there's a, an hour to two hour delay on all the buses. How does that even make sense? How does every bus that they have is delayed an hour or two? How is that even possible? They're coming from different locations. It doesn't even make sense. It does not make sense. There you go, Greyhound. We're not big fans. No. Hell fans. no. No. I'm finally in Dallas. This is my friend Sveta. Hey, thank you for taking me in, I love you. It's really hard to leave New Orleans. It's like a drug. It's very addictive. You're always out and you're having fun. And it's really hard to come down from that. I'm hanging out at the pool with my friend's kids. Much needed break from the New Orleans lifestyle. I need to detox a little bit. It was getting intense. So I explained to you that I was dating somebody and I'm really upset I have to leave him now, right? Mm -hmm. So what did you say? You said sometimes you have a shirt that you really like. Sometimes you have a shirt and so he rips it off and then you get another one. And it's that, better? Yes. So then if you have a boyfriend, then if what? If you have a boyfriend and you can't marry him, you could get another one that's better. <laughs> this is just... Perfection. The life advice from a seven and a half year old. Sometimes if you have a boyfriend and you can't marry him, then you can go and find a new boyfriend that's gonna be better. Thank you, I really appreciate this advice. It's actually very helpful. Thank you. I'm here at my callback, I'm like an hour early, so I have some time to go over my lines. I have to go nail this. It would just make my life so much easier if I show up to Dallas with a gig that's already booked. I wanna book it. I think it's really funny that I got this fortune cookie that said that I'm gonna have a happy change in plans. And then I end up booking something else in New Orleans, which is unexpected and happy because I actually get to go back to New Orleans for a little bit. Okay, super pumped. It's always fun to come to a casting and the people are cool. They agreed to be on my vlog. Hey, you guys. Hello. Hey, so this is the callback for Almost Married. Yes. Thank you guys so much for having me here. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming. It. Thank you. I finished my audition. I think it went really well. One of the guys that auditioned me, Mark Bryan, invited me to see his play tonight. So I'm going to go see his play. I look like I've been crying. Oh, oh that's my okay. Goodness. You're allowed to be crying. This is the amazing Mark Bryan, yes. a.k.a. Lovely. Lovely. And I just watched his show. Oh, he's the creator of the show and writer. All around everything. All around everything and the star. And they really got me. I laughed, I cried, it was really awesome. Yeah, all the lovely shows are tragic comedies. It's funny, 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 and then it got like a surprise. Uh, you don't see it coming. Well, yeah. like life, actually. Very much so. This is a part of a five play series. Right. And this, this is the last. last one. What's great about the series is that you don't have to have seen the other plays to understand, like this play, you didn't Yeah, have they to see each the other stand by themselves. themselves. But if you end up seeing all of them, it tells like a meta, meta story. Obviously, you've never seen the other ones. And, and it, I was so and into place, it. Yeah, this play gets to you. If people want to find out more information about you or your production company and what you guys are doing next, go to mbsproductions.net. MBS. Perfect. Yes. And what are you guys working on next? Uh, well, actually, we're doing the movie <laughs> with uh, Stranger Morning Productions. That I auditioned that for this you've morning. You've auditioned for. Give a fabulous audition. Thank you. And just FYI, you realize we had over 400 people. 
You did? Submit. Narrowed it down to 60, then we narrowed it down to 24. So basically I had three people per row come in. So that's where you are in the standing so far. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm so lucky. It's an awesome project. I love the film, I love the yeah. characters. I read for three different characters. Right. Came all the way from New Orleans because I really wanted to be a part of this. And, and you did a great callback. So. Thank you so much. And, and then our upcoming show here, the theater, it won't be until December and it's our infamous or famous, depending on how you want to call it, Burlesque Nutcracker. Okay. It won the national award for the best nutcracker in the entire United States. Oh my goodness. That show has a website dedicated to itself, so it's burlesquenutcracker.com. Thank you so much. I had a great time. Thank, Thank you. you for coming to see lovely. You were lovely. Absolutely Thank lovely. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. My name is Maital Angel, and this is my road to Hollywood. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you think, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to continue following this crazy adventure and find out if I do actually make it to Hollywood. And if you'd like to help me get there, you can always make a contribution by clicking the link in the description. Only hate the road when you're missing home. Only know you love